Today I'm going to show you how to make a scrunchie. I'm going to add a pom pom trim. I'm going to show you straightforward cotton. This is my pom pom trim. I've cut this piece 20 inches by 4. This one's a little bit shorter, but it's a scrap I've got to hand, so I'm going to use it it's a little bit wider. I can, show, I can then show you the difference when you use wider fabric to slightly thinner. So I'm going to pin my pom pom trim along my seam allowance. Now if I was being super precise I might tack that. In fact I think I will. If you've not heard of tacking before it's a long simple stitch just to hold something temporarily in place. What's not to love about pom pom trim, hey? They um, they're such fun. This is cotton from a bed sheet I bought from Primark. And pom pom trim I bought online. I made my daughter a beach dress out of this beautiful print. Now she can have a matching scrunchie. Oh, we've gone a bit wobbly there. I'm going to just undo that. One point of tacking it. It's getting it in the right place after all. Again. Without a pom pom trim, you can whip up a scrunchie in five to ten minutes. With a pom pom trim, as you can see, it takes a little bit longer. I think the um, results will be worth it. Not that I've made one before, but I'm sure it will. No, if my daughter's not interested in this scrunchie, that her best friend will love it. There's nothing like a scrap busting project in terms of satisfaction. And these make great gifts too. Hi. I was doing research before making this and my daughter's friend was talking about velvet and crochet, crocheted scrunchies, which I thought was a lovely idea. That sewing's my forte, sewing's what you're show I'm showing you. And I don't have any velvet in my stash. I always like to make with what I've got. possibly can. It's much better for my wallet and for the environment to use what I have. I strongly believe we can all be creative just with what we have. We don't need to spend a fortune. Oh, my trim's a little short, never mind, that will make turning the fastenings at the end easier. Oh, not on my thread. Right, there we go. So, so now I've finished tacking my pom pom trim, I'm going to fold it over, I'm going to pin along, and then I'm going to change the foot on my sewing machine to a zipper foot, 
and then I can whisk along here. I'm going to try and be careful to keep the pom poms inside scrunchy and not in the same machine. I need. Right, I'm going to repeat for this one. I won't bore you with showing you the video for that, but I'll get it to the same stage. Right, as you can see, this is one stitched and the second turn the right side out. So I'm just going to turn this one right side out. This might be a little bit more fiddly because it's a little bit narrower. I remember I was going to show you the difference in the um, width of the fabric and the impact that had on the pom-pom. I do have one of those gadgets for turning fabric inside out, which some people seem to really get on with. Oh, I never have. So I'm just using my finger, setting and grabbing the fabric and pulling. There we go. Brilliant. That looks better. Right. Now to cut a stretch of elastic. I'm going to go for 9 inches. Right. 9. And the second one. 9. Now I'm going to thread it through using a um, safety pin. Which of course I haven't got to hand. I'm going to sew this here. If you've got two safety pins, you can just um, hold it with a safety pin at the far end. But I haven't, so. Oh, I don't want to sew my finger really. Right, let me find a safety pin. Now we're going to insert some elastic to make it gathered. I've just put a few stitches on the end here to hold it whilst I run the elastic through. I just like to use a safety pin. Didn't take long to do this. I've got a about an inch piece of elastic. There we go. Right, this might be where I regret having stitched it on because now I've got the nine inch elastic. You can knot it, depends upon the size of the um, scrunchie you want. I've just done some road testing with my daughter and her friend and uh, originally having knotted the elastic that was a little bit short for them. They So I've unknotted it and I've just stitched back and forth across the elastic so um, I've got a wider I guess, scrunchie now so now I'm just going to hand stitch this closed here so as I say these are so flexible you can make them any size as big a piece of elastic, a small piece of elastic, as wide a piece of fabric, a slimmer piece of fabric and it will vary the look. You can fold your ends over and machine stitch which is what lots of people do, it's the quickest option I'm just going to fold those raw ends in there. Or you can hand stitch it shut. Totally up to you. You machine stitch, you're done in a few seconds. I'm going to um, hand stitch it so I just Pin that in place. Let me zoom in a bit with the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm not on my thread. I'm going to run it 
straight through the inside so they're not spot on the outside. So I'm just coming up the top in directly below, along on the inside back up. I don't like doing the ladder stitch to be honest. As I say, most people just whip it through on the machine. Oh, right to the side, but I like the finish. Personal preference. To be honest, once it scrunches in the hay, you're probably not going to notice if it's machine finished or hands done. There we have it, one finished scrunchie. So I said I'd show you the difference of the um, slightly shorter fabric and slightly wider. There you go, you can see that there and there. So it makes quite a difference in the end as to finished size and shape. As you can see, you can have lots of fun making a huge variety and they take very little time to make. Why don't you? Have a go, use all your fabric scraps, make some fun scrunchies.